<laughs> Welcome back. This is the biggest or the peak of the weekend. Arsenal taking on Manchester City, Timothy. Yeah. Tell me about this one. Tony Sahid, yeah. It's, it's a super Sunday, the way we call it. And uh, this game is going to not define the, the, the winner of the, of the Premier League this season, but it's going to give a bearing of who could likely win the Premier League this season. Very, very interesting. These are the, those were the top two teams last uh, season, of course, Manchester City edging out Arsenal on five points at the end of the run. Right now, only one point separates them after Man City lost uh, for the first time last week. We thought it would be another three points yeah. for them, but they lost very, very interestingly. Yeah. Uh, this Manchester City side lost to Wolves. Uh, they are a uh, very, very big game. Arsenal yeah. come into this game uh, uh, as well yeah. on the back of very, very poor performance. A very poor performance away from home against Lens. This was not the time for Arsenal to start faltering. Yeah, it's not the time for Arsenal to start faltering. But I always say a Champions League fixture should not define your form uh, at home, say in the Premier League. And I think away at Lens, I, I would look at the Arsenal players and say, guys, let's put that behind. Let's go for the big one. And for me, I think the fixture against Man City is going to define how much Arsenal has moved from uh, last season to, to, to this season. And just one point gap already shows you that the two teams are going toe to toe. Now, this fixture tomorrow on Sunday, I think is going to tell us who wants it more because whoever wins this will get more confidence and think that they can go all the way. Of course, we know that Arsenal already got the better of uh, Manchester City in the, car, in the Charlie, Char, car, uh, charity field yeah. at the beginning of the season, yeah. which was very interesting, Arsenal having to come back in that fixture yeah. and, of course, mm -hmm. beating Man City on penalties. They come into this particular game with an issue to fix in goal. Yeah. Do you think that has now been put to bed? We've seen Raya playing in the last three games. Tony, I'm a fan of Ramsdale. I think Ramsdale should be the number one, but Ateta that's number one is going to be Raya and uh, if he's to bench Raya in this fixture I think he will dem dem demotivate his confidence so he is likely to play Raya who personally I think should not be playing this fixture. Very very interesting of course that's one conundrum that I know that is a big problem yeah. for Ateta it's difficult again like you said he doesn't want to hurt the confidence of Raya he's had some glimpses very nice touches, very nice long balls. Yeah. I think he can start a counter if yeah. he gets the ball. Is that kind of goalkeeper similar to what Alisson does for Liverpool. So it will be interesting to see Ramsdale on the other hand team. I don't think I'd put any foot wrong. We know he has a, he had a few issues, yeah. but he's not perhaps he's not, legs. He's, he's not, he's, this, he's he's, I, I don't think he should be benched. Yeah. So it, it will certainly be very interesting. The defence is still there, yeah. but the issues that Arsenal is now facing in midfield, yeah. Bukayo Saka limped off uh, in midweek. Yeah. We've been talking about his the, the fatigue and the load yeah. that the team has been putting on him. Almost playing 84 consecutive games yeah. in the Premier League. That's yeah. unprecedented for a player at, at 22 years old. Yeah, I think his mileage in the Premier League has been too much. And uh, the fatigue is coming in. You see he's getting cramps in games. He's being withdrawn. And uh, if, if, if Ateta must play him, then for me, play against Man City and then give him a rest, at least maybe just play him for 16 minutes and be taking him off to, to bring back the energy in, in Saka. But he is a player who should play in this fixture. And I am happy this time Ateta has gone ahead and said he is in contention to play on Sunday. They will assess him on Saturday. But I think Saka must play this game because he doesn't have a, a potential number two replacement. For him. him being in the fixture, of course, gives Man City problems, yeah. especially that we know that Man City come into this particular fixture themselves with issues to deal with. Yeah. Rodri was red carded in the last game, so he, in, in the yeah. game this before, be the so game. this will be the third game yeah. that uh, he'll be missing out. One of their mercurial players, mm -hmm. I think, without him, Man City almost look like a different side. Mm -hmm. It will be very interesting to see how then uh, Pep uh, comes into this particular fixture. Will he again play Calvin Phillips? Yeah. We don't know, certainly, maybe he'll try and put uh, the, the, the makeshift the defenders uh, that he has been putting in midfield. We saw him bringing in Rico Lewis playing in midfield. And, you know, it was very, very, very interesting Stones formation. Stones is back. Stones is back. Yeah. Uh, so that will be good news for Pep. When Arsenal comes to this side and you look at the forward lines for both sides, yeah. there's been an issue for uh, uh, Teta who to play with Nketia feet and Jesus feet. Yeah. That's another issue to look at yeah. where does it go 
Does he insist with Nketiah? I think you go for experience, Tony, in the number nine position. You will have to play Jesus in that in that position. And Nketiah has not done much in the last yeah, four he's, games. He's not done much, so I would play maybe uh, Jesus in that number, and then uh, in the left wing. I didn't like how Trossard played in midweek, poor, but maybe poor. we think that's a one-off. You have to play Trossard so that you 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 have to make sure that you're giving Man City a goal. Otherwise, if you play uh, Jesus in the in the left wing and in Ketia, I feel there's sort of a, a mini red card there. Do you start Kai Havertz? No. no, 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 no. <laughs> if, if Pate is fit, then I think... Uh, we saw Pate training and warming yeah, up yeah, in midweek. Yeah, and I, w I remember the start of the season, we always said, if you're going to play a bigger side, then you have to play both Pate uh, and Declan Rice. And for me, the reason I'm benching... Uh, Kai Havertz is because I think Rice can cover that position while even falling back. So make sure Pate and Rice play and I think you can compress Man City. Very, very interesting. For Manchester City, the forward line has also been trying to uh, get up to speed. Yes. Haaland has been off form, yes. but Jeremy Doku and Alvarez seem to be picking up and getting to their best. This is a team, those are guys that will be coming into this game, licking their lips as well. Yeah, Tony, and given that midweek they, they started from the bench, Doc, Doku and uh, Alvarez. Alvarez, and they, they combined to, to score, I think, uh, the second goal. You look at the team and you think if they get the opportunity, they can hurt you. Because uh, I think Doku has started well. And if you to ask me between Doku and Grealish, Doku for me... It has to be Doku. <laughs> Doku, yes, yes, confirmed his credentials there. Of course... The reason Alvarez, uh, Alvarez benched, I think, is he has to play the As Asno game. And the coach can see that he's on fire. And then you look at Haaland, you don't know when he's going to fire, so he has to, to start. But Asno being at home and the Asno, the Asno crowd, it reminds me of uh, the Wednesday night, how the, the, the St. James crowd pushed Ooh. the players Ooh. to beat PSG. And if, if the Asno crowd generates that energy to the players, Ooh. it could be a long day for Man City. Ah, we can't wait for Sunday <laughs> evening, 6.30 p.m. East African time. Arsenal will be taking on Manchester City. First against third, one point separates these two sides. Don't forget, big, big affair. Share with us your predictions on this TikTok video. When you see it, what's your prediction, Timothy? It's a tough one, Tony. I thought we were not going to predict this game. <laughs> <laughs> I am inclined on an Arsenal win. I think Arsenal has something to prove. They have bought the players they are going to give it a, 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 a go and i think uh, because this time they have the proper defense remember man city beat arsenal because they had i forget the player Hold, holding holding there if if they manage to suffocate uh Haaland and then stop uh alvarez from getting the passes i think if arsenal nicks a goal they should be able to see it out so i've gone for an arsenal win one nil 21 last night. Timothy has struggled with that one. I don't think it, there's any struggle for me. I think Arsenal struggles a bit when it plays big sides. We beat, uh, 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 we saw a, a victory uh, against Manchester United. We saw another victory again. You know, I've seen big sides, but against Tottenham, I saw them crumbling back to their old Arsenal against the big side. I think this is a game that they will find very difficult, especially with the form of Julian Alvarez. I've gone for a win for Man City 2 1. I, I am struggling to see how Man City will win, especially h how Wolves was able, Tony, to beat Man City. To engage them. I think I think Ateta is going to watch that game and, and think he could get something. So I've gone for Arsenal 1 If he insists on Edin Ketia and uh, <laughs> Kai Havertz, then suddenly no chance. It will be very interesting. Please share your comments as well on the video below. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Goodbye for now and enjoy the action pack weekend. And of course, it's Independence Weekend in Uganda, so it's a long one. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.